Langsmith is a unified system for debugging, testing, evaluating, and monitoring your LLMs. When you connect your application to Langsmith, you will get many helpful information about your code. For example, you can see how many tokens are used in a run and how long does it take to get the answer back from the LLM. Having this information, you can adjust some configurations like the temperature, compare the runs, and optimize cost and performance. Using project names, tags, and meta information, you can better mark and understand and debug your code. This makes Langsmith a valuable tool for AI apps development. Langsmith can be used with or without Langchain. In this video, we will use it in combination with Langchain. So let's dive in and see how we can integrate Langsmith in our projects. In our project folder, we make a new directory called Langsmith. We change to the new directory and from within the directory, we start Visual Studio Code. When Visual Studio Code has started, we open the terminal to create a virtual environment for this project. We create a virtual environment with python -m venv and the name of the virtual environment, in this case venv, and wait till the virtual environment is created. We activate the virtual environment so that the name of it appears in front of our prompt. Now we can go and install the packages. To install the packages, we create a requirements.txt file and paste the packages needed for this project in that file. To install the packages, we type pip install -r requirements.txt. Depending on the speed of your machine, this will take some while, till all of the packages and the dependencies are installed. Please notice that when you install Langchain, Langsmith will be installed too. Keep in mind that you can use Langsmith without Langchain, but for this project, we will use them together. After the packages are installed, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen. Just to be sure we have installed Langsmith, we type pip freeze and put the output in requirements.txt. This will override our file with the installed packages. Here we search for Langsmith. And as you can see, we have installed the version 0.0.21 as August 2023. So we close the terminal and close the requirements.txt and make room for the next part. Here we add the .n file for the environment variables. First, we give a project name like Langsmith getting started to be used in Langsmith. If we do not provide a project name, the information goes to the default project. Next, we need to set our API keys. Here, we navigate to openai.com and to the API section. We create a new secret key and give it an optional name like Langsmith. We create the key and copy and close the pop-up. Back in Visual Studio Code, we assign the key to openai underscore api underscore key. Next, we go to Langsmith and create an API key and copy the key and close the pop-up. Back again in Visual Studio Code, we assign the key to langchain underscore API underscore key. Now that the preparation is done, we can close the .n file and move on. Here comes the main part and we add the app.py file. It's very simple. First, we do some imports. Next, we load the environment variables. And then we use chat OpenAI and assign it to LLM. And finally, we use LLM.predict and a simple static prompt of why do we finish a setup with hello world? And finally print the answer. To run the file, we simply execute python app.py in terminal. And sure enough, the answer comes back from ChatGPT about the tradition of using Hello World to test the functionality and so on. But it is difficult to scroll and read the answer in the terminal. To 
to have some comparison, we need a second run. But before that, we need to make some adjustments. We set the temperature to zero to be more deterministic and add a tag to mark this run. We run the file again and the answer comes back from ChatGPT. And again, it's hard to read and compare this run with the first one. And here comes Langsmith to help us and give us more insight into our application and ease the comparison. When we navigate to Langsmith dashboard, we see that we have two projects. When we open projects, we can see our Langsmith getting sorted project and a default project. We can adjust the visibility of some columns and see in run count that our project has two runs. When we open Langsmith getting started, we see some information about these two runs. And when we click on one of the runs, we get more information about it. We can read how many tokens are used for the first run and compare it to the second run with the temperature of zero and notice that the second run used fewer tokens. Furthermore, we notice the tag we set for the second run. We can go back and even filter the runs based on the tags we defined. When we dig deeper, we get to the metadata section of the run. We can even add our own metadata information to a run, which we will do in the next example. For the next example, we create a Jupyter Notebook with the extension .ipyNB for interactive Python notebook. First thing first, we need to select a kernel and we use our virtual environment setup for the kernel. In the first cell, we import some packages and then in the next cell, we load our environment variables. Now comes the main part. We assign chat OpenAI with temperature zero and a tag to the LLM. Next, we use a prompt template with that input variable. Finally, we use an LLM chain with the LLM and prompt template and use another tag. By running the chain, we assign work-life balance as a value for input to be placed in our prompt by our prompt template. To have more insight, we assign multiple tags and multiple metadata information to the chain. When the answer comes back, it's hard to read, as it is not well formatted and we have to scroll to read. Just to have a second run, we change the temperature and the associated tag to 1 and run the cell again and get another answer back from ChatGPT. When we navigate to Langsmith, we see now that our project has four runs. And when we open our project, we see two runs of type LLM and two runs of type chain. By lowering the temperature, we again reduce the number of tokens used. And we can filter the runs based on our tags. When we open the most recent run, we see work-life balance is assigned to the input variable and the prompt template place it in the right position in our prompt so that the final prompt sent to ChatGPT is what is work-life balance? In Langsmith, we can easily read the answer from ChatGPT without scrolling. When we go back to the metadata section, we can see our added metadata too which help us later identify the runs. To wrap it up, Langsmith can help you understand how Langchain components work and what's going on under the hood when you develop AI apps. Try to implement it in your projects. Good luck.